The much-anticipated Fallout London mod for Fallout 4 Shadow dropped on June 25th for Steam and GOG. But diving into the British wasteland isn't quite as easy as booting up a new video game. Depending on what platform you're using, Fallout 4 might require a little tinkering before it's ready for Fallout London. Have no fear though, for this guide will help you keep calm, carry on, and get Fallout London installed on your PC. To play Fallout London, you need to own Fallout 4 and all of its DLC packs. That's easily acquired by purchasing the Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition, which includes all of Fallout 4's DLC. If you already own Fallout 4 and the odd one or two DLC packs, you'll need to purchase what you're missing. This is the full list of everything you need to own. If you're playing on Steam, you'll also need to downgrade Fallout 4 to make it compatible with Fallout London. More on that later in the video, but it will require an additional tool to download. On top of all that, you'll also need the Fallout London mod itself. This is available to download from GOG using the GOG Galaxy Launcher. Fallout 4 for PC is available on both Steam and GOG. Fallout London can be played using either version. Sorry, the Epic Games Store version is incompatible, but if you are buying Fallout 4 on PC for the first time specifically to play Fallout London, we recommend buying from GOG. Why? Because the installation process is much, much simpler. Team Folon, the developer behind Fallout London, has a partnership with GOG. Using the GOG Galaxy platform, you'll be able to simply download Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition and then install Fallout London after. After installation, launch Fallout London, which surprise, is actually just the mod install. Click to install the mod, and it'll install fairly quickly, and the play button will appear. Click play, and enjoy. If you own Fallout 4 on Steam, things are a bit trickier. You may have previously read about how the recent Fallout 4 next-gen update created compatibility issues with many mods. Fallout London was impacted by this, hence the delayed release date, and so it requires a previous last-gen version of the game to work. Where GOG Galaxy only allows the older version to be downloaded to ensure compatibility with mods, Steam automatically downloads the next-gen version of Fallout 4. As such, you'll need to force Steam to download an older version of Fallout 4 to play Fallout London. To install Fallout London using a Steam version of Fallout 4, you'll need to access the old 1.10.163.0 version of Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition. The easiest way to do this is by using Team Folon's Downgrader tool, which is available from Nexus Mods. A link to the downloader will be in the description of this video. If this is your first time modding a PC game, then this is probably your best option. After downloading, run the Fallout London Downgrader.exe app. This will open a window that will ask for you to select the install path. Click the folder icon to the right of the window and search for where Fallout 4 is installed. By default, that's this path. The next window will ask you to log into your Steam account. This is so the downgrader tool can access the older versions of the Fallout 4 files and install them to your system. Enter your Steam username and password, and then follow the prompts to authorize the login via Steam Guard. If you're uncomfortable with logging into your Steam account via the tool, then you can manually downgrade Fallout 4. We'll get into that in the final portion of this video. With your Steam account logged in, the downgrader tool will begin the process of installing the correct version of Fallout 4. This will take a long time, so you'll need to be patient. When the process is complete, hit finish to exit the tool. With the freshly downgraded version of Fallout 4 ready, you now need to install Fallout London. Boot up GOG Galaxy, find Fallout London in the library, and download the mod. Yes, even if you have Fallout 4 on Steam, you need to use GOG to play Fallout London. When you click to install Fallout London, it will ask where it needs to be installed. You'll need to make sure it's installing to the Steam version, not the GOG version of Fallout 4. As a reminder, the path should be right here. Once installed, simply click Play. If Fallout London is trying to install somewhere else, for instance, mine still was installed in the GOG version of Fallout 4, you'll need to click Update and then change the location to your Steam installation folder. The Play button will change to Install. Install it, and then you can play from the launcher, and it will launch the Steam version. If for some reason you don't want to use the downgrader tool, you can manually download an older version of Fallout 4 using Steam's command console. This method is incredibly precise and will require you to leave this video, 
as you'll need to go to our install instructions page to copy and paste each individual console command, of which there are 15 total. To begin, we recommend deleting everything from your Fallout 4 install folder, which is by default located right here, and then following these steps. Type this into the address bar of your internet browser. This will prompt Steam to open its console tab. From here, there's a 15 step process to download each version of Fallout 4 manually. You can go to this website on the screen or click the link from the description below. As you enter the console commands, the files will be downloaded into your Steam library folder, which by default is located right here. You should now be able to find them in this folder, with each of the sections in its own depot folder. From here, create a new temporary folder and move the contents of all the downloaded folders into this new folder. If prompted to remove or replace files, always choose Replace. The aim is to create one single folder full of files, rather than a collection of depot folders. This will create the downgraded version of Fallout 4. Move the entire contents of this new folder into your Fallout 4 installation folder, which is by default located right here. Be sure this folder is completely empty before adding your new files. To prevent Steam from automatically updating Fallout 4, you'll need to deactivate the app manifest file. In the Steam Apps folder, located right here, you'll find a file called app manifest underscore 377160. Right click the file and select properties, then tick the read only box at the bottom of the window. Hit apply and then close the window. After doing all that, you guessed it, head to the GOG Galaxy launcher and install Fallout London. Then install the mod like you would have if you had used the downgrader tool. If you don't want to use GOG at all, you can manually install Fallout London. This is advised only for advanced users, and full instructions can be found on the Fallout London website. A link to this site will be in the instructions below. With these instructions followed, you should now be able to play Fallout London through either your Steam or GOG version. If you'd like to see the mod in action before doing all this, be sure to watch the first 20 minutes of Fallout London. If this is your first experience modding, we hope we've made the process as simple as we can. Thanks for watching, and for everything else on the world of Fallout, stick with IGN.